I can't find my takeout. It was in the fridge. Your what? Food from that old world fusion place near the promenade. Ah, you mean your takeaway. What did you order? A rice stew with that new strain of flavored carrot. The one that tastes of rabbit? That's the one. H have you seen it? No, but if you do, could I try a bite? It sounds delicious. Unbelievable. Hilarious. All right. Welcome back to the channel, I'm King Abaddon, in today's video we're back in XCOM Chimera Squad. It's been a while since I've recorded, but I think there's been no, no, I don't think. I know there's been no stopping videos. I don't remember what we did last time. I know for sure we're putting Cherub on the team. And I think it's Claymore's turn to come out, because he's been on a lot of missions back to back, honestly. And we want to get Cherub in there to keep him leveling up. Is everyone's armor tinted the same way? His is not. I might want to keep his in the black. Yeah, I like his better than black. I was hoping he'd do the little padding bits and not like the whole area. I think the black looks better for him. Even though it doesn't match the... Oops. Even though it doesn't match the rest of the team, I think black still looks better for him. Alright. So now we're going to take Axiom Chair back on the team finally after saying, I think in like three or four episodes back to back, I was like, yeah, Cherub's on the team when he was not on the team at all. Right now we're doing improved spec ops. Once that's done, we're going into master cra mastercrafted shotguns. I don't know why I'm doing this one, actually. I can't remember. Why am I doing this one? Allows two agents. Oh, that's what I'm doing now. So I don't have idle agents anymore. Um, anyone needs to be trained. Does she still have any training left? Terminal? No. Okay. Verge? No. Claymore? Claymore does. Interesting how he still hasn't done his basic training, despite all the missions he's already been on. A free field team is going... To, how useful is a free field team right now, actually? Because... Two... Yeah, okay. Free A free field team is still going to be useful for us, so we're going to go for that one. Save on some intel used. Uh, Verge is less useful right now. Okay. And then, I don't remember if I said anything for the last episode of what we're going to do with this one. I didn't really check it. I think I remember stopping at this point instead of actually setting anything up because everything was already saved. Alright. So, now, this one's going to give us another epic pistol. Which I know we don't need since we only have the one pistol right now. Or this one just gives us 95 Illyrium. This one's the better one to do because that one's going to push up to 3. That one's only going to push up to 2. And it actually does give us that pistol. Which you might as well get over the 95 Illyrium. Even though we're already sitting at 605 Illyrium. So we're going to go for the... We're going to get the pistol even though we don't necessarily need it. Androids are present on this mission. You know that Chrysalids are present on this mission. So we have a lot of dark events starting to pile up because of the... Our progression through the game. Um... Go ahead and send the APC. I checked to make sure that the uh, that the sound is working right now. Impact frame will be pretty good. Hello? Oh, I guess it can't apply because he doesn't use the impact frame. We can give him the impact frame though. And then we'll give him the advanced scope. I think I'm going to take this off though. You don't need this because if you're shooting less than anything, then giving you the targeting system is going to be useless so i might as well give you the scope and you the targeting system since you'll be taking shots more your gun doesn't do that much damage right now uh you are getting the hazmat shooting because you're going to be running around more than cherub so you're going to get the extra padding breach charge for ye yeah claimer's not on the team so he gets the breach charge he can get the plasma grenade and the trank rounds everyone else has all that those things hollow scanner and breach charge here. I'm gonna grab. Uh, I think I already did this, right? All right. The last thing I'm gonna grab actually is a supply breach. And is this the breach? No, it's not. Grenades breach. I'm getting a medi patch at the breach. That way I can heal two points while going into um, a breach point without a uh, terminal having to be on the team anymore. I'm gonna give this to. I'll give this to Godmother. Right, yeah, because Axiom has a, a breach effect at doors. And, okay, Claymore's not on the team, but he has a breach effect with the other ones. Do you make items available? Do we only have one epic shotgun? 
I thought we had two. Let me see. Let me check. Let's see if Claymore is holding on to something he's not supposed to be. And Claymore. Load up. No, he just has an hand shotgun. Okay. Just making sure. Alright. And we're doing this mission. I think we're ready to go now. Let me make sure I'm not going to leave anything. She has hers, his. Oops. Hers, hers, his. Alright, so we're ready to go then. Alright, let's get into it then. Yep, sound effects are still working right. It's kind of annoying that we missed the, what, two episodes of sound effects? I think in both episodes we had actual cutscenes too, so that's annoying. Special weapon at this location. Hostiles unaware of our approach. Interesting. I didn't, I've never seen a pull up like and actually give it an animation like that. All units entering through here get plus 25 defense for one round. Alright, well, I guess everyone has to go through here. First person through. We have two encounters here. Alright. Does Axiom get an effect coming from the outside? No. It would be cool if he did. Uh Oh, yeah, I guess we can use both of these. So we might as well. I'm going to start with this one and end out with Godmother. Keep behind me. Grenade out. I really don't like how low the throws seem to be going. It looked, I guess it's fine though, since it's still been working. I want to try and take that. The Cobra and a hollow targeted commando. Okay, the commando's down. Shoot, we might be able to take everything out here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take out the mech then. Since I have such a high chance of hitting it with all of these things. Um, Cherub's probably not gonna kill. Oh wait, his weapon does a little more damage now. I still don't think it's gonna kill him. Oh, it did, all right, cool. And then Godmother with her shotgun. Not likely to hit on this one because of the range. Yeah, just the graze on that. But that's not bad actually. I'm still fine with that. We still have, we have some neonate chrysalids and then the Cobras next. Uh, we're gonna psych you up. All right. Wired up. I'm pretty sure from what I've seen notice oh wait why is this hang on why is this not cover who has oh the Cobra's over there okay I guess this council's cover still since the neonate chrysalids don't actually have a weapon I didn't see where the other crystal it was before I made this move where are you okay you're way back there that doesn't mean we're necessarily safe though because that chrysalid can still run all the way up we don't want to use this in the first go necessarily though either if you took a shot you're likely to take them clean out so i'm gonna drop a grenade on them and see how much damage this does okay that's not bad damage all right we'll be able to take them out easily in the next turn and then we can take our we can take our shot on this one right that's likely to kill yeah okay so it's pretty good He's already psyched up. If they hit him, he that's lucky. I'm not I'm not upset with that at all actually. Uh let's see. I can get up to Do I have cover? I have cover at this point. Do I have cover at this point? No, there's no cover there. Good thing I checked that. Alright, I'll bring them over here. Bring her over here. A turn code grenade, I don't think it's necessary because all they're gonna do is shoot at the chrysalid. Only a 60. Ah, they're in cover, aren't they? Does that count as full cover for them since they got down all the way? It will be annoying if so. But not necessarily the worst. Fanfire, that's from his gun. Shield bash. Can we hit them with shield bash? Yeah, his extra mobility is going to come into play a lot here now. And take them out. I don't know why there's always so much other explosions around him doing the shield bash, especially when it's a normal shield bash, too. And then we have Subdue, which will, which will absolutely take this new Nate Chrysler out. I don't know if this actually means anything towards the end time because they are essentially just insects. So it doesn't really make sense to if they count towards the hot, not the hostiles, the can't remember the word. I forgot it last time, too, but it shouldn't really count. I don't think. All right. Keypad door, side door. In this argument, activate Overwatch through this entrance. I'm going to bring this one down in the entrance order and then have Axiom go through here. That way he'll be in Overwatch. If anything moves, hit, it'll last longer. Successful shots through here. Hit. Will hit. Okay, I'll have this one go first. Lashing through this entrance will have their weapon disabled. Mm. Lashing through this entrance will get plus one armor. 
And that's what's going to be surprised. I think Cherub has the scope. I can't remember. I've already forgotten. We'll send Godmother through and then Patchwork. And have her use the Combat Scanner. Which will increase our uh, aim on enemies. And also increase our crit chance on those enemies. And then we'll send Cherub through this one. So he's more likely to hit with his uh, surprising effect. I can't remember. What does this do? Burst through the door at breach point. Chance to panic nearby enemies. Panic chance increases with rage. I think he's only going in with one rage though. So it's, it didn't really work out. Necessarily. But we're still trying to figure out how to use him. Because I'm not really sure on how to work with the rage yet. Because I know if he goes berserk. You can end up hurting your own team too. And we're not trying to have that. But we are trying to have him go berserk and hurt the enemy. So. The bruiser isn't the one that gives the shield is he? I don't think so. Are both of these 100% chances? Uh, I might as well use Alpha Strike too, right? Fire Strike and doing the breach and get an initiative boost and one bonus action on the first move. So, so I think that just pretty much gives us running, then, right? And then... Okay, we'll take another shot on you and take you all the way out of the turn. And then we're going to... You're going to be surprised now. Yep. And then, lastly, we'll have the Andromedon. Interesting how we're still seeing these. I thought the last episode would have been the only episode we saw them in. But, looks like we can't really do anything about that right now. We have a high chance to crit if we do hit. And we did it, alright. But he's gonna shoot right back at Axiom. Shredded the armor too. That does increase his rage, right? Doesn't seem like it did actually. Targeting system on the turret being activated. It's Godmother's Spotted turn, and that's the guy we need to take out. Their turn. Okay. Their turn comes number five. Do we have any grenades left? We have an acid grenade that we can drop right. Okay, it looks like we can't get it to hit both of them. It isn't big enough. Oh, there it is. The only thing is, I'm not sure if this is going to do damage to the Andromeda or not. But I guess we'll never know until we try, right? So, might as well drop it there. And then we'll know for sure if it affects these things or not. Okay, cool. So it still shreds the armor, get the one damage there. I think it does less damage to inorganics, which is what those things are. And we can ventilate now on the... The... Where is it at? Where's the number five one? Is that is it the last one we're gonna see? No. Ventilate. Okay, it looks like we can. But we can use running gun. We also have a bonus action on this turn. Subdue is an action to knock out an enemy. I can use subdue here. And I should be able to get another action that allows me to shoot. Right? Right? No. Okay. I threw a grenade, which doesn't count for anything. Well, we know how that works. I'm still trying to figure out how these extra action moves do, because it doesn't seem like it's always... Ooh, that's annoying. He is angry now. I think I, I gave him the, um... The armor. Reprogram on the turret. I do want to try and get this turret. Because it's in a pretty good spot. It can you overwatch. Well, not even overwatch, but it can see the whole room from there. And it can't be shot by the bruiser. So, that's helpful. And then we can use Chaining Jolt on number... Okay. Well, we can't see anything else. And her gun is disabled, so... Turncoat Grenade, though. Can be used... Will it affect the Andromeda? Does not cost an action. Force the enemy units to berserk and turn on their allies. Does not affect robots. The Andromeda isn't a robot right now. I'm gonna save that for later and just go ahead and reload the gun actually since we still have good cover Better right reload. here. You better not leave. I did put her in an open position for that. Okay. Although the armor did keep her pretty safe so that's not too bad. Now you pay Kinetic back. shield on... Ooh. I'm gonna run him... No. Godmother's out in the open right now. So I'm going to try and get an angle on Godmother so I can give her this shield. Because, ooh, I put him open. No, I did put him in cover from the bruiser. Because she's standing out in the open, and they're going to get a lot of turns. 
Different have the Android go. No, different have the Bruiser go and the Andromeda go. And she's standing out in the open. Didn't expect that shot. Okay. Oh, she's marked too. Okay. You're still up. Oh, are they gonna start swinging at each other? So I will absolutely have this happen. Head. His rage is up to three now. I do want to get out of this. Uh, oh wait, the, this isn't affecting me right now. So I'm gonna psych up again. Who wants some? And then I'm gonna use smash from this angle. Hello, neighbor. Ninety-five percent chance to hit. I'm confused on what's happening here. I think maybe they had a, a chance to hit. Hostel is moving. All right, now it's the turret's turn. They can take a shot on that or the hitman. I think I'd rather try and take the shot on the hitman because the hitman is the person who's carrying the pistol that we're here to get. And then I don't think they'll leave without it, but that Andromeda might be a problem. No, I think the hitman is what I'm gonna go for. All right, cool, that's not bad. Two damage, any damage really that's essentially free is fine with me. So now, if we use Subdue again, how are we going to kill them? I think this is their symbol, right? We potentially will kill them. I'm going to go for it. Might as well. I have the armor to protect me from whatever that they come back with me at. Come back with me at? Come back. Shoot. Shoot. Whatever. Anyways. Whatever damage I might have gotten from that. Mm, he's taking a lot of damage. His rage is getting pretty high though. I guess this is us, this is able to it's helping us test how high the rage can actually get before it's gonna become an issue. Number two is next. Um I think I want to uh fire the target until you run out of ammo or it dies. We might as well use it on him. We have all of our ammo. Okay, cool. My target. And then Cherub, you're gonna move around this corner over to here, and then you're gonna drop a shield on Axiom. That way the next hit that's bound to come from this Andromeda shell is not gonna do damage to him. Uh, let me not mess this one up, because that could be the difference between Shield's Axiom up. going down and not. Batten down. It's running? No, okay, it's just repositioning. And you get a charge. Alright, alright. We're gonna team up with Godmother. Because you've taken a lot of damage. I know Godmother has that, um... That shield. But we might as well hit him with another smash. It's gonna do 3 to 6 damage now. You have the... Hang on, what does it say? Aftershock. Ray smash to apply a small amount of damage to nearby enemy units. Alright, so you have smash still. This could potentially kill, it did not. Alright, so now I can get Godmother over to Axiom. And then you can use the Nano Med Kit on Axiom to heal him back up a decent Hold amount. Still. She sounded angry when she was uh, giving that to him. And now we can just take out this uh, Andromeda shell. And that's going to be it for that. For this encounter, right? This is the second one. Seven damage, too. That's overkill. Alright. Yeah, Axiom took a lot of damage. His rage got pretty high, but he didn't berserk. So that's telling me. That's giving me more indication of how high I can actually send his. Um, his rage without it being an issue. Alright. The square was once full of shops selling the kinds of things that don't matter anymore. Evan converted it to housing during the occupation, but the city council decided to put a m modern spin on an old idea. Check it out when you when you need old world memorabilia, sectoid cable, and five kinds of pants on short notice. It's out of Bucktown, a local guy to City 31. So we got the weapon. The unrest went down by one. Okay. So... What will you do when you retire? Get a boat or something? You always ask. What about you? Oh, I'm not going to retire. Of course you will. You can't do this job for too long. It gets to you. No, I mean, I know the odds. 
I have five years, tops, then a stray blast of plasma flash fries my lungs. So why do this? Because I'm no good when I stop. I understand. More than you know. Hmm, interesting. Well, we don't have anything, we don't have enough intel to afford anything from the scavenger market, so we might as well just go st straight into the next situation. This will be done, improved uh, spec ops, so we'll be able to put in two people here and start really uh, pulling in the um, rewards from that. Claymore's almost done with his uh, training. So yeah, I mean, there's really nothing else I can do today besides this. One of the city one informants have gone missing. Providing them with access to our more more sophisticated tracking equipment could help narrow the search. All right. Assembly's finished. Basic conditioning is up. Uh, unrest switch out is risen to three, and the other one is risen to two. 105, 85, and 75. I know you do not room. trust aliens. Oh. But you are trying to do so. And? It is enough for me. Good. I'm gonna do this mission because this will bring down the uh or bring it'll increase the time it takes us to get there bring down the unrest in the stick just and give us more intel to spend on our field teams but for now we can do more of this and i think i want to do the scavenger market one no i want to do this one and put in uh this terminal terminal doesn't have any more training to do, so we'll put her in. I'm gonna put Zypher on the team now, and I'm gonna swap her out for. Well, I got a lot of reworking to do here actually because uh, select training. Verge has no training. Terminal has no training. Claymore has no training. Godmother has no training. Cherub has no training. Patchwork has her training so patrick is going to come off the team for a while while she gets her training done in place of uh, her we're going to put in zypher who hasn't been on the team in a while um and then we're going to here we're going to put in i guess verge might as well he's kind of our resident uh, like equipment guy i guess he's been he spent most of his time doing um assembly so far and then in spec ops we'll do uh oh we have two open spec oh i did not mean to pull verge out of that spec ops i forgot he was doing that all right we'll put claymore here and we'll put the agent is no okay this slot we'll put terminal and we'll give her that all right that's how you set that up so now we have everyone doing something. I don't think we have any idle people yet. And we have this mission to work on. All right, what time is it? 23 minutes, that's that, that's not bad. We should be able to get this done before it takes too terribly long. But I'm pretty sure every time I've said that, it's gone way over anyways. All right, the hollow scanner for you. You look at the turncoat grenade. Does anyone not have a grenade? Frag, acid. What's the other grenade that I have? A ceasefire? I think a turncoat is better than a ceasefire because a ceasefire will disengage the weapons. Hmm, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna take that back. I'm not really sure which one is actually better. But for you, you have another weapon to choose from. A prototype pistol stolen by the res resistance, confiscated by Advent, recaptured by XCOM, and thought lost after the war. Clip size is three, three to four damage on both. Grants the lightning cant ability, and this one uh grants the fan fire ability what is lightning cans fire your pistol at a target this attack does not cost an action lightning cans has a three turn cooldown i think that's going to be better than the fan fire fire the pistol three times at the same target fan fire can only be activated once per mission yeah so since this one has an actual cooldown and not just a once per mission this is going to be better it's going to be more useful overall and all that so now we're ready to go into the next mission. I think I did everything right. So, we'll, we'll, we'll see right now. Secret coil shot up a market and hold up in this store. Stop them before they cause any more harm. All right, let's see what's happening. Looks like we have a door breach point. Uh, is Axiom on the team still? Because if so, he's going in first through this location. Successful shots on enemies will crit. There are fewer aggressive enemies present at this entrance. All units to this entrance get plus five dodge for one round. 
no one can get in here because we don't have oh we actually don't have any of the uh, drones for once so successful shots will crit uh, cherub godmother almost like godfather for some reason and then can she do anything else now not valid for units breach slots how many encounters is this this is one encounter so we'll put in Zypher next with the hollow scanner and yeah okay all right let's do it Keep behind me throwing grenade all right your shot is first we have an Andromeda and we have I'm gonna go for the we're at least gonna take this one shot on the Andromeda and then the rest of my shots are, ooh, it says all that damage through here will crit, huh? Then I'm going to take my shot. I don't want to use... You're, wait, who is this? This is Zypher? I'm going to send you somewhere further back in. You're going to go to the Guardian. Because the Guardian's going to do something immediately. And I think maybe if I take out the Guardian, I'll be able to... um To negate the shields that he gives out. Alright, you're going to die pretty quickly on the next turn, so I'm going to go for the Andromeda, actually. Or I can use Phalanx to catch that charge. I think this is going to be a better use of that move, though. Yeah. Who did he hit? Why does everything shoot Zypher? I think it shot Zypher. I couldn't see. And then that's a crit, too. I think that was a crit by chance, though, not actually because it was going to crit. Alert, you're moving back. Alert, you're moving up. Okay. We're gonna psych up. Pumped up. And then, who's what's happening in the turn order? Number three. No, number two is you. Smash. Who can we reach with Smash? Can we reach number two? We can. Will we kill it? Not necessarily. But it will do damage to... Oh, it does damage to everyone in the area. So it can deal damage to Zypher too, is what it looks like. Um, then we're gonna go for you, which can do damage to. Damn, it's kind of annoying then, huh? I think this is actually gonna be our best bet because it's gonna do a little bit of damage to both of these androids. So let's Hello, do it this way. Neighbor. And let's see how much damage it actually does with Shockwave too. Hostile kill. It, okay, none, I guess. It had labeled as red for no reason, so maybe I could have just gone for them. Lucky on the miss. Not necessarily what we want, though. Him taking damage isn't as bad. Interesting. Two misses on him. That's not bad. Alright, we can use a turn coat grenade. And we can hit... I guess we can just hit the Andromeda. And we'll see if these... This action will cause... Ooh, good thing. Who's in there? Ter uh, uh, Terminal, Verge, is were the first two names I was going to say. Cheryl. The other two members of the original team that aren't actually on this mission. So does the turn code affect the Andromeda? Okay. So it does affect the living Andromeda, so we can keep doing that. And now we have this move. I don't think it should hit a teammate, should it? Yeah, okay. Just making sure before. Yeah, okay. It doesn't it didn't even make sense. Ooh, Approaching are you gonna explode? Position. Oh yeah, Stop okay. Moving around. okay. Oh I missed though. And you're giving out a shield to everyone. So we almost stopped them. I forgot that that was a thing. I should have focused down them. Focused them down. Okay, okay. An acid grenade, we're gonna drop on them. Grenade out. That way we can break their uh their shell. And start doing damage to the actual mech. I feel like the mech is actually more dangerous because it runs up close and hits, which can, which might have a disabling effect. I'm not actually sure. So now we're going to ventilate the this thing. We can do six to ten damage. We potentially could take it uh, out immediately. We weren't able to, but that's not too bad actually. We can use lightning cans to get a free shot, right? But that's gonna blow up the number three. Hmm. We can give out a shield, kinetic shield to to 
We'll give it to Axiom. Right. Popping and blocking. Then we use Lightning Hands on the Andromeda, which will take it out for sure. So that thing Burn really didn't do anything don't besides a shot in the breach. And I don't see how that's unconscious, but whatever. And then we can take another shot, not on you, but on you. Because we might, well, we won't be able to take you out, but we'll be able to get rid of your shield, which will make it easier for someone else to take you out. Yep. All right. And you're going to use team up on Cherub. They're going to use Psych up. On the edge. Just in case. And then you're going to throw your frag grenade past everyone over to frag them. Out. And then I'm going to have you prepare because I don't want you to take them out and then blow up and hurt uh, Zypher. So we're going to. We'll put you in Overwatch actually. Because that way, if this thing moves on its turn, well, you'll just shoot it anyways. Although I'm pretty sure it's just going to stand there and explode. That would make more sense since it has nowhere to really go. And then if we do it this way, it might work out to where Godmother's the only one who actually takes the damage instead of these two also, despite how close they are. Uh, what kind of grenade? A plasma grenade? Uh, we're also going to have you prepare then. Batten down. It's this thing's turn. Target Never mind. It looks like it tried to move and then got kicked by um, by Zypher, so that all worked out. Plus two charge there too. Lightly wounded, only a little bit of damage. We have a chance we have only a twenty percent chance to get extra intel. But we'll see what happens with that. Alright. That wasn't that long of a mission either, yeah. Alright, Roger, why do they why do they get a sanctuary while your fellow mutants are still in temporary housing, Glorgo? Roger, they breathe Argon. The city isn't getting them a theme park. They just requested a, requested a more comfortable detention center. Roger, fair point, I guess. I just wonder if it's the best use of resources right now, Glorgo. Believe me, every former Advent species prefers Andromedons are housed first. Roger, why is that, Glorgo? So we know what, what place to avoid. From you say, I say. That, that makes sense too because it seems like they're very violent overall. The city's Andromedon sanctuary finally admitted the obvious. Rogue Andromedons joined a sacred coil. Stop them before their actions turn into a recruitment drive. Um, I thought I chose the one where sacred coil has access to fit. In the field, more android soldiers. Sacred Coil has a brood clutch of chrysalid eggs and the means to deploy them as living weapons. Okay, I was just making sure I wasn't crazy. Why are there so many Andromeda if I chose to not have to deal with Andromeda? Momentum is also triggered by subdue and crowd control, and Zypher does not trigger overwatch or reaction fire. That's pretty good. Melee attack will ignore armor. That's not as good. I've, I haven't really had an issue with armor yet. Um, her melee attacks are still doing, how much damage do her attacks do? They're not actually doing that much damage anymore, but being able to trigger, um, momentum, which also means I can trigger parry, uh, it's pretty good. So, there's that. That's pretty good. Um, unrest is getting pretty high here, but I don't think we need to do anything about it just yet. Over here... It's getting pretty high too. Do I let this go over and do this to get an extra intel? I don't think so. But I can build more field teams. <sighs> yeah, I can build more field teams. I have a level 3 security. And that's it. I only have the one level 3 security. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add upgrade here. That one's fully upgraded. Do I have enough to fully upgrade another one? I don't think so. It's 120, yeah. Okay. I can freeze the district if I wanted to, but I have no districts that I need to freeze. Uh, if I do this mission, it'll pull down the unrest by two. So I could do the situation and then do that mission next. But then that brings up a chance of a some sort of encounter happening here, which will cause it to go up. But I could potentially freeze that district after I do this situation, which I think is what's going to happen. Alright. 
So these two have four days left. This one still has quite a bit of time, five days left. I think it'll be 10 days. Someone doesn't necessarily have to be here, but it'll be 10 days if no one's there. So five days with them? Mm -mm. Yeah, because it went up by two. Four, six, eight, 10, 12. Yeah, okay. So it'll take 12 days total, but it's half because someone's in there. You're still being trained up. You're going to get both of your trainings done before you come back to the team. All right. There's really nothing else to do here. So we're going to hit this smugglers market. We're going to get more intel. We're going to use that immediately to get another uh, field team. Another Liam smuggler in custody. The smuggler ring will likely go to go to go to ground for now. I guess go underground for now. Not really sure how I was supposed to read that. How was life on the invasion ships? Cramped but good. Those were quite literally simpler times. How so? We maintained ship systems. Each of us had our part, like a mechanical symphony. That sounds wonderful. Now this was before the elders rewrote us with human DNA. Also, the sectoids kept us docile. That sounds less wonderful. Interesting. I guess, yeah, there's a lot of these characters in here who would know about it. Uh, looking at our, um, our team, Axiom was with, uh, Axiom, Cherub, and Verge were for sure part of, um, Advent, which is the alien invasion that uh, came to Earth and what caused XCOM to be needed to be formed. I don't think she was with them. Let's see. Not confirmed past. Scattered records suggest that she was Australian undergoing hybrid amalgamation and sonic lathe procedures. In terms of, she created in 2021 her Advent records transferred to City 31 and worked as a loyal Advent soldier. So she was Advent. Uh, Zypher was Advent. Uh, I can't just click to the next one. He, we just had him say he was Advent. Uh, was Cherub Advent or was he almost Advent? I think he was almost Advent. Cherub belonged to the empty cohort, a batch of hybrid kids full of Advent training but no Advent indoctrination. The clone crashed and immediately befriended two XCOM soldiers. So he wasn't Advent but he was almost Advent. Testing revealed no Advent sympathies despite being part of the Bullis Mars clone line. Pretty sure I read that wrong. So he's technically Advent, but he never fought for them. And then what about Verge? Verge is the real mystery here. So far, we've seen no one else that looks like Verge. We've seen some people that look like Cherub, I believe, but not Verge. Sonic supporter infiltration unit of Thin Men. Yeah, okay. Thin Men is what he is, as you can tell. And he was also served as a mole activity aiding resistance, sent to long term control of an influential human who could keep uh, docile, select a candidate, if we work to, su to subvert human government. Okay, yeah. So, we have a few people who worked with Advent. All the humans did not work with Advent. We have one, two, three people who did work with Advent, four who came from Advent. And then we have another four who, wait, is it? Yeah, four who are just human, straight up. So, we have an interesting team here, but that's going to be all for this episode. Next episode, we're going to protect the food supply, uh, another mission into our investigation on the sacred coil. Uh, don't forget to follow all my other social medias in the description below. Uh, ooh, I wonder what this is, actually. Fully distracted. An epic submachine gun might be nice, though. That would be pretty nice because we only have one person who uses an epic machine gun though. Three days towards the assembly project. Mmm, that would be even better. I don't know. Maybe we won't do the protect food supply. We'll freeze the district and bring down the uh Yeah, we might freeze that district then. That way it doesn't start pushing it to our city anarchy. Or something like that. I don't know. We'll decide in the next episode. It's between these two though. Because the Mastercrafted shotguns are going to really help us out. Since right now, it seems like at any given point on the team, we'll probably have at least one shotgun. If not two. Uh, because of all the people that carry them. But okay, that's it this for real. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Follow the socials. Spread the words. YouTube doesn't recommend my videos, probably because they're so long, and I've been talking probably for like five minutes, which pushes my video even longer. But whatever, I don't care. I do this for fun more than I do it for the money. Uh, bye.